hey guys welcome or welcome back i have some empty um i did separate sensi from retail and vendor so because i have sensi all surrounding me we are just going to go with that first i feel like i have a lot of empties but i will explain i feel like a, with a lot of my vendor wax I had like enough pieces for say like a piece for um, one of the boys bedrooms and like the bathroom like I didn't have anyway it doesn't matter <laughs> I feel like I have a lot of empties and I'm just explaining why but I also have a lot of warmers I also work from home so there's that all right so the first thing is I finished a brick I did in the maraschino sugar cookie. I love this scent. You guys, it does get juicy. And I am one of those people that like having to touch this <laughs> to put it in my warmer kind of gives me the heebie jeebies. But I have these like plastic um, chopsticks that they're, they, don't, they almost look like long tweezers because they were from when the boys were like super little and couldn't really hold chopsticks the right way. So we bought their like cheater chopsticks. So I kind of was using that for, to like pick out because I had this cut up, like what I had left, which wasn't that much. Um, so good. I have one clamshell left of this. Again, I took this, this is out of my club, but I definitely enjoyed it. Ooh, sorry. And um, we'll 100% pick that up again when it comes back, if it comes back. If it doesn't, I will live. <laughs> um, it is just wax. Um, and I look forward to new fragrances that Scentsy comes out with. But then I definitely am happy when I see favorites that return. It's like a nice surprise. Okay. Went through some pods in Clean Breeze. You guys, these I've had forever and ever and ever, um, like in the wool fan diffuser. And then I felt like I wasn't getting scent from them. I do turn them upside down. Um, I switch them around a lot. I'll shake them and put them back in. These went on forever. Okay. And then I took them out and I'm like, gosh, I can still smell these. So I put them in my linen closet. There's one, two, I think four shelves. So I put one like on the second and third shelf and I could get a little whiffs of them every time I opened the linen closet. Um, but I would say for the, like the last two weeks or something, I couldn't smell them, but I just kind of forgot like when I'd be putting sheets or towels away in there, I just kind of forgot to grab them. So I pulled them now. Long story to tell you that these are done, but they lasted forever and ever and ever. <laughs> they really did. And I'm smelling them now, and I feel like I'm getting scent, but these 100% got my money's worth. Some dryer discs. This was in Fluffy Fleece. Yeah. Um, again, lasted a long time. These are not something that I ever, like, just purchase. If, if I buy the, the Laundry Love Bundle then I get them, but I don't just like buy these to buy them. They add some extra scent, but they're more of a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, because I have a front loader and it's like constantly like banging. Um, why did I say that? Disregard. <laughs> in the dryer, um, that like the glass you know, window, it's constantly slamming like into that. I know some people with their dryers, they have like the, I say metal door where you don't see, but they're like constantly like hanging out like in the window and it drives me nuts. So for a long time, and I will continue to use um, this lingerie bag. You can get these off of Amazon. They come in like a three or four pack in different sizes. I just put them in here and throw this in and if I didn't have the lingerie bag, I probably would not use these because they would drive me nuts. So, there's that. I currently don't have any in my dryer. I'm trying to think of what scent. I, I don't have that many left. Maybe one. I don't know. 
Here is another fantastic fragrance that lasted forever. A fragrance flower in winter berry apple tea. And you guys, oh, I can still smell this. This, the oil has been dried up and this is completely dry for probably two weeks. Again, laziness, forgetting to grab this. So I just had it sitting on my vanity in my bathroom um, until I knew I was going to film because I didn't want to put it in my basket just and get like oily residue. This thing is a beast powerhouse. Love it. Um, and it lasted forever. I should have put the date on it. I didn't, but I currently have fluffy fleece in there now, which is a nice um, scent. I told you guys I have like a, I guess the correct term is a water closet, like the room that just has your toilet. There's no outlets in there, nothing. Um, so I always have a fragrance flower going on, you know, sitting on the back of the, of the back of the toilet. <laughs> so I've had fluffy fleece before. Again, it, I love that scent. It's not crazy strong or anything. This like left that room and like came out into the full size bathroom. It was just strong. And again, it was in there for months. Put this car bar in Berry Blast in the car um, last week, maybe over the weekend. I don't know. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I love this in wax. This is the first time I've had it in a car bar and it's fantastic. I thought my husband was going to say something about it, like smelling too like girly or maybe that the boys would complain. Nope. Everybody when they're in there, tell me that they like the scent. So. That is good. Took out the 3D um, freshener in Mighty Pine. This was nice. Very strong for like two days. Um, and then after that, it was just kind of hanging there as decoration. Um, so, I don't know. It was okay. If I have more, I will use them. But not something that I would like seek out. Finished up some cotton cleanups. I always tell you guys these are splurgy, very spendy, very much like a luxury item. I use them when I close out a party. That's how I get those. I had to change out two light bulbs. I know one of them was in the um, both 25 watt. Oh, I'm not going to be able to. Is it Opulence? Is that the name of it? And then the, oh my gosh, the Jack Skellington Halloween warmer from a couple years ago. It wasn't last year. Maybe it was the year before or it could be even older. Um, yeah, those both needed to be changed out again. Those stay on 24-7 unless I'm like leaving um, overnight. So I'll replace 225 Opulence? I feel like that's not even the right name. I um, might be making things up at this point. A counter clean in vanilla. Mm -mm. Yes, vanilla mint. I love this. As of right now, this is my most favorite. I do love the peppermint when I have that. When I ha when Scentsy has that. But I think I even like this more. I do not have any more counter clean. I cannot believe it. I feel like I had you know, like 10 bottles at one point under my sink. Um, so the next time I close out a party, I will get some, some more. Definitely enjoy. That's my fave. And I took the bar <laughs> out of my club. So finished a two cent swaps, which one in fluffy fleece, one in jammy time. You cannot get these they don't do scent soft anymore. So when we knew they were going away, I stocked up on the fluffy fleece because it's my most favorite. I do really like the jammy time. But um, one of these finished, I don't know, probably a few weeks. It's been sitting empty in my, in my um, laundry room. I do, I did have them both open at the same time because sometimes I wanted the towels to have the fluffy fleece and then maybe like the sheets to have jammy, you know, but 
I finished them. I do not use the whole system all the time. I don't use it correctly so everything runs out. I've told you guys that before. Um, yeah. All right. Now, is that it for non-wax from Scentsy? It is. Okay. So now on to clams or bars. Central Park Pralines. I'm pretty sure this is the first time that I've ever, in all my years of warming Scentsy, that I warmed this. This was from a Bring Back My Bar. It's pecans, buttery caramel, cinnamon sugar. So I don't like how this smells on cold. And I liked it okay on warm. I know people rave and rave and rave about this. Um, this is very buttery. Very buttery. Buttery to the point of it almost being like margarine. I am not a margarine person. I would rather eat something dry then put margarine or like fake butter. I need 100% real salted butter. I don't eat it a lot, but this is like an art of, like a margarine. And it, that, it, it was off-putting to me, like a margarine mixed with caramel. It was okay, I had it off, like I had it upstairs in the loft in the hallway and stuff, so I wasn't up there a lot. But um, it's just not a favorite of mine. I'm glad that I finally tried it after all these years, but it, not something that I loved. Cashmere Pear, another Bring Back My Bar from, this was from June. So, love how this smells on cold. Very pretty. It's white amber, Madagascar vanilla, pear, red ginger, and cashmere. I even wrote on this, super light. It was so light, like almost non-existent at time, but I had to, I have an element warmer in my master bathroom that I had to touch the warmer to be like, is this thing even like getting hot? Yeah, it was super light. So this has taken me a long time to get through because I really only warmed it in that area. I tried it in my bedroom and I couldn't smell it. So I then I went to the master bathroom, which is not huge. Yeah, it was just really light, and I really wanted to love this, um, but it was super light. Fluffy Fleece, how I love this. Oh, it's so good. Black Current, Cozy Musk, and Heliotrope. This is currently available. I love it. I've talked about it a bazillion times. Love it in all the things. I know lots of people like it. I'm pretty sure I have a brick, and it's fantastic strong, long-lasting bedrooms. I use that in bedrooms, um, bathrooms, and sometimes the front hallway. Caramel apple, nope, caramel pear crisp. This, I only had like two cubes left. This is from last year. Um, it's just not a favorite of mine, and I love pear scents. It's too ooey gooey to the point that it makes me feel like, um, certain scents do this to me, that my countertops are sticky. It's just, and it, it clings. Um, this would probably be such a great, like on Halloween night, um, scent because it's got that caramel, but it's, um, ripe pears, nectarine, brown sugar, caramel, and cream. Again, I love the scent of pear. I love nectarines. It's just a little, a little too sticky um, for me, but it's strong. Apple cherry strudel. I love, 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 love this. Definitely a top one for me. And I know it has performance issues. <laughs> oh, but it's so good and it's worth it to me because it is a powerhouse when it's in the warmers, but it is not, this does not play all day. This is like, I keep it in all day. If I put it in at 8 in the morning, it's not coming out until 8 the next morning. But it loses its mojo for sure. Um, it's Granny Smith Apple Cherry and Vanilla Drizzle. This is available. I will always buy this. This will go into my club when it goes away. I do like it. and I'm, I know there's certain things I make exceptions for that, you know, I spend my money on. Blackberry Spice, I really did like this. I liked this so much that um, I should have a Scentsy order, I think, coming in tomorrow. I had a couple people ask me if I was placing an order, like, that are local to me. 
So I did, and I was like, ooh, I picked up stuff, quite a few things, shockingly, that I've never tried before in bars that, like, came out last year and stuff, and I just felt inundated with um, fall and winter scents that some things I just skipped, just like I did again this year. Um, but there are a couple, like, that are going to be new to me that I'm sure the rest of people out in Scentsy World have warmed a bazillion times. But this blackberry spice, I ordered it again because it really was good. It's blackberry, cedarwood, and clove. I love clove. Um, and this is definitely available because I did just order it. I just really like it. And it's something different. It's not pumpkin. It's not apple. Um, but it still gives you those full festive vibes. I need to see if I pulled... I might have already put it in the loft. I have another... Oh, gosh, I think I did. I think I already put it in the loft. Another brick that I'm going to be working on. And I think it's the maple... It's from two years ago. The holiday bricks. I think it's maple... I don't know. But anyway, that's the next brick that I'm going to be working on over the next week or so. I don't have a ton of it left. And it actually smells good to me now. Last year, I didn't really like it. And I'm pretty sure it was from the, yeah. And the year before, I didn't. I didn't like it. It was one of those ones that I would put in when I was leaving the house. Maple something. Anyway. You'll see it in an empty. Okay. So that is it for everything Scentsy. And now I have Bender and... Yeah, so if you were here just for Scentsy, thank you so, so much. I am an independent Scentsy consultant. If you do not already have a consultant, check out my website. I will leave my information linked below. Scentsy, if you have a Scentsy club, Scentsy um, announced today that for club members only, there are certain, there will be perks, not really perks, well, things that you can only get if you have a club. So you will go to your consultant's website, um, you know, click on your club, sign in or whatever, and then you'll be able to see the new things. There's like some laundry, there's some pods, there's a brick, there are some, I think some bars. You can only get it if you have Scentsy Club. So I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe monthly they're going to be changing that up. There are bars that I've never even heard of that are in for club members only. So check that out if that's something that you're interested in. Okay, and now on to Bender. Okay, so I finished a soap from Bath and Body Works, Pumpkin Apple. Love, love, love this. I love it in the candle. Get yourselves a drink or something. I'm sorry, this is going to be a long one. Um, red Delicious Apples, Fall Pumpkin and Clove Buds. If you've burned the candle, you know. I mean, this I have to have this every year. And I love it in the soap as well. That is in the foaming hand soap. Really good. I'm going to pull this back because I have a lot. Okay. This is Smart Care Hand Soap. Gentle enough for every day in ocean breeze. Eight ounces. You guys, so I started to rinse this out. Um, but anyway, this soap last fall when we were home in Massachusetts and we were at my mother-in-law's house she had this soap um at her kitchen sink and then also in her bathroom one of her bathrooms and I was like oh my gosh that soap smells so good I didn't know if she was like reusing the container because this looks kind of like generic and whatever I loved the, the scent of it. Like I said, it's ocean breeze. It does not smell like salty sea air or anything like that. It's just like a very pretty, like soothing scent. So when we were getting ready to leave, she was like, here, take a bottle of this home since you liked it so much. Um, it didn't give me the same feels as it did at grandma's house, you know? And boy, we went through this one fast. I think she said... She must have bought, like, a couple cases or something, maybe, like, during COVID from Amazon. I do really like it, but I'm not repurchasing it. Um, you know, if she has it, would we go there? I'll happily use it. It just, I don't know. It didn't smell as good <laughs> in my house as it did at her house. Sorry. I need a sip of my sparkling seltzer. 
Okay. Went through, well, finished. I did not go through this. I had enough in here for two warmers um, in my kitchen. This is Laverne's Pie Stand. Green apple, pie crust, cinnamon sugar, and sugar cookie. I really like this. I told you guys before that I don't, I don't love how it smells on cold. Really, none of the scoopables I love how they smell on cold. This was very good. This was really um, green apple. I didn't get like a ton of the cinnamon sugar. You definitely get sugar cookie. And not really a lot of like a pie crust. So I have some of Kay's flaky pie crust that I used um, in other warmers while this was going. So that, you know, helped make it a little bit more bakery so that it wasn't just so apple-y. Which I love apple, but I was looking for apple bakery. Okay, clam shells. Um, one from the bathing garden. This is the palm reader. I really liked this. I don't think I've ever had it before. It's fresh roasted coffee, flaky butter croissants, vanilla bean, maple, whoops, maple syrup, coconut, sandalwood, and chocolate. <clears throat> I do not get chocolate in here. You totally 100% get that fresh roasted coffee. You get a bakery element in here, some vanilla, a tiny, ever so slight note of maple, but it was good because it was with the coffee. I don't even remember smelling sandalwood. I think I did get a little coconut, but this was good. So this was like a morning, a morning melt one of the days during the week. And it was very good. And I put that in, I don't know, between 530 in the morning and six. And I kept that going until noontime. And then that came out. And another clam was Danish butter cookies. This was delicious. Vanilla, burnt sugar, caramel, and buttermilk. So you know those Danish butter cookies? <laughs> I mean, that's what it's called. In the blue tin. We had a neighbor, I know I've told this before, that lived next door to us um, on Long Island. And she was an elderly woman. And every Christmas, she would give us that tin of those cookies with like a red, one of those stick-on um, bows and we would go crazy because it was a cookie my mom never bought like tins of cookies she made cookies but she didn't buy um, cookies at the store she always made them and you take that lid off and this is exactly what it um, exactly what it smelled like do you guys know what I'm talking about right the blue tin I'm pretty sure they still have them um, yeah, that was good. That I warmed, that I've had open for a bit, um, and I warmed it in my bedroom. I know. I definitely 100% warm bakery in my bedroom. I like it. It's very comforting to me. <laughs> so, there's that. Okay. A couple, well, some cups. Okay, this was from Summer. This is from the Melted Moose, and it's called Pumpkin Patchin. Pumpkin donuts, cider lane, and candy corn. I was a little scared of candy corn in wax because I can't stand the, the candy, even the smell of it. This was so good. So good. Um, cider lane, definitely the strongest. And then that pumpkin donuts. And then whatever that candy corn adds to it, just like a sugary sweetness. So I cut this in half and I mixed it with... Where are you at? With um, Leaves Marshmallow Fireside Noel from Sugar and Spice um, Gourmet Soy Candles. If you have not tried this company, uh, I always say try them to people. I don't have much left in my bins, in my storage from her. Super strong. Cut this in half. These are one and a half ounce um, melts. So I had this in four different warmers. It was lovely all day um, in like my dining room and kitchen. From Kay, when, back when she did these, I like bought 3,042 scent shot cups and hedonic tonic. I think I'm the only person that maybe bought it because I never hear anybody 
talk about it. I love this. It's got like a minty and then sage. It's a very clean, <clears throat> I don't know, kind of, it reminds me of like a healing, <laughs> maybe it wards off bad spirits. I don't know. Like a very healing scent. I don't even think she has this anymore. Um, it's really, really good though. So I'm thinking this might be the end of it. I cut this in half. This is just her one ounce sunshot cups. I cut this in half and put it in um, my half bath twice over the, I think just this past week I did it. I don't think it was like a half hanging around. Okay. A mystery from Sugar and Spice. So she gives these as samples. This was a very rich bakery and it definitely had like the coconut flakes that scent in here so it's almost like a I don't know like a good buttery like shortbread kind of scent super good I cut this in quarters this was cut into quarters and I would melt a quarter of it at a time in my front room in the warmer because it was a very heavy rich um bakery Oh, I loved this. This is from um, that Smell Good Shop. This is Immunity Idol. Oh, boy, was this good. This is Aged Woods, Campfire, and Peppermint. Oh, so good. So the peppermint is definitely there, and you smell that a lot on cold, but it is not the leading, the leading man. <laughs> In this fragrance the aged woods is oh it's so good calming soothing relaxing scent loved 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 this warmed this in my living room and like dining room um, at night and then um, I also warmed it in my bedroom I really like this I would 100% get this again it lasted a long time and the last sunshot cup that I have is from sassy girl this was in maple bourbon this I did not care for but again one I can't like everything <laughs> two I didn't pick this out you know it's not like I bought it and don't like it which that happens sometimes I don't I'm not a fan of maple and this is maple bourbon and this was very 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 perfumey to me yeah, super perfumey. So this was warmed in the front room, um, like where my husband's office is, and he didn't say anything, so. A sample from the Bathing Garden in Love and Madness. I don't know what this was. I thought I had the scent notes. I'm gonna say it was fruity. This may have been in my basket from last week and it was like stuck to the bottom. Um, so there's that. Okay. I have a lot. I have a lot of bags. Again, not all of these did I start and finish this week. I had, like I said, stuff that had like one or two pieces or like my kids are getting more into like changing out their own wax. So sometimes they'll take, you know, a piece of this or a piece of that. Um, so they're not all complete sets when I go to warm them. So this is from Up the Creek Scents. This was definitely missing two pieces when I just warmed this this week. So, I don't know. This is from last year. I did not buy this um, this year. This is Pecan Waffles and Marshmallow Fireside and Leaves. This was fan-freaking-tastic. Just a gorgeous fall scent. If you're familiar with any of those notes, um, then you know. It wasn't Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. It was just Pecan Waffles with Marshmallow Fireside and then Leaves. I loved this. Please, if you have not checked out Up the Creek Scents, I do not know what you are waiting for. The wax is just, it's fantastic. It is so reasonably priced. And um, yeah, she's so, un they're so underrated. Sleepy Hollow. This was a two little like thin pumpkins, pumpkin heads from Scoopable Wax Melts. Um, so Sleepy Hollow is Cider Lane, Cider Donut, and Pretzel. 100% Cider Lane with this. And it was really good. On cold, I can get like salty pretzel, like yeasty. But I didn't detect that when I warmed it. It was very nice. 
put that in, kept it, you know, all day. I had a few left from um, Lavender and Speckles in Warm Vanilla Sugar, Palo, and Beach Nights. Now, I can't remember if this was sent as a sample when I ordered or if Summer sent me this because I was, have been pretty good about putting her name on things. But at any rate, I loved this. I love Warm Vanilla Sugar. Anyway, I, I, I just, I love it. How can you not be a lover of Warm Vanilla Sugar? I love Beach Nights. And then you throw in some Palo in there. Oh, beautiful to fall asleep to. Beautiful. So love, love, love that. I would 100% get this. Summer sent me, so this must have been from the Beach Night Sampler. That's why I, I see, I don't know. Maybe, I, I, you guys, I thought I was really good about writing names on things. But anyway, Cotton Candy Beach Nights. This was very good. Just a little added oomph of sweetness to her um, Beach Night. So it just says, Summer Scoop, Beach Nights, Cotton Candy, and a touch of, oh, Blueberry. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't detect Blueberry. I just got, like, sweet um, beach nights, and it was very good. Warmed this um, in my open concept. This is from Summer, from, uh, from Lavender and Speckles. Blackberry marshmallow beach nights. Sweet blackberries, marshmallow clouds, and beach nights. Beach nights. Mm, delicious blackberry mixed with her beach nights. Really good. Very, I would say, like, strong, medium performer. I believe that there were four in here. So this was in my kitchen. Really, really good. Enjoyed that. Oh, I loved this. This was so good. Um, this one, I had a hard time holding off warming it because I loved, I loved it so much on cold when I first got this, which was a while ago. Um, from that smell good shop. It's the gold room. It's sweet apples, vanilla bean and pale ale. Oh, it's so good. And I am bad with remembering names from Lush. But this, I don't know if it's like Snow Fairy or if it's... Uh, I don't know. This reminds me so much of something from Lush. But again, I don't remember names. This was fantastic. So eight, two, four, six. Six cubes. Um, four warmers this was probably close to this I think was like 36 hours and it probably could have gone even longer I loved every single second of this I would 100% get this again next fall it was so good oh my gosh I'm sorry my leg is falling asleep and now it was 102 here today this is supposed to be the last week of triple digit so fingers crossed prayers needed more bags all right we have a little bit from let's say the rose girls from rose girls poison apple twinkies first time ever having this i really really enjoyed this macintosh apples coconut and cream filled twinkies so i love her mac apple oh this was so yummy um and the cream filled twinkies i don't know that i really got coconut so it just kind of, I hate saying creamed it out, but it added a nice, like, fluffy, creamy element to the apples. Really, really good. Definite um, repurchase when she offers it again in 2024. Campfire Coffee in Cookie Land. Absolute Coffee and Marshmallow Fireside. Confetti Cake. Toffee. Butterscotch Pretzels and Cookies. Again, I get nervous with Cookie Land because of butterscotch and toffee. I'm just not. Sometimes it can just be a little nauseating. This was simply amazing. I loved this. My youngest son um, loved this too. So he took, there were, I think there were six, maybe just four. He took two for his warmer. And I did two um, in one of my kitchen warmers. 
And then I also used some of the coffee, what I had left of coffee in Salem, which is absolute coffee. So that's in the campfire coffee as well. Pumpkin pecan waffles, campfire marshmallows, which marshmallow fireside is in this one, and vanilla sandalwood. Um, yeah, so these were fantastic together. The two pieces that he had in his bedroom, oh my gosh, a good full two days. He just has one warmer in there. He's got a scentsy like ceramic one. I don't know if it's the on the rooftop one, something like that. Um, really good. So fantastic. Oh, love, love, love that coffee. From Second and Spruce. Finished up a few things here because I only had little bits and bobs of them. And um, I'm like, why am I hanging on to these? You'll be able to get them again. Warm them. You love them. Enjoy them. So I had Carnival Nights. Just a little bit. Now, this is not like... In my brain, I was thinking it was going to veer more towards like the concession stuff. You know, the ooey gooey, sticky, whatever, which I have 100% lost interest in. Um, loved it when I first got into wax. Probably did too much of it to the point that I do find it nauseating, to be honest. That's on me. I just warmed too much of it. This is a beautiful take on being at a carnival cool air in the fall at nighttime um without the sticky ooey gooeyness because it has mallow fireside funnel cakes caramel apple which yes that could be ooey gooey dark berries cotton candy and an extra hint of smoke yes please yes this is a hundred percent my type of carnival scent I want more of this. Um, I hope that Erica offers this again next fall. Oh, it's just, it, this is perfection. I loved this. It wasn't sticky. It wasn't ooey gooey. Um, and it's got to be that mallow fireside and the extra hint of smoke that really did wonders to the caramel apple and didn't make it that over the top. So, I had warmed this multiple times um, since like the beginning of October. So I had a little bit of that left and I had a little bit left of um, just the funnel cake. So funnel cake and powdered sugar. So to stretch this out and have it have enough for four warmers, I mixed what I had left of this with what I had left of this. And it was perfection all day. Wonderful. Loved it. And another one that I have to say goodbye to because I had enough for two warmers because I don't know why I was hanging on to it. Um, this is very, 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 very popular. What the Melon Rita, and it's been over 100 this week, use this up and enjoy it and love it and just stay in the room that you have it warming in. So that's what I did. Um, I warmed it where I was working. Had enough for two warmers. Muddled watermelon, sugar, lime margarita. This is the most delicious watermelon. Oh, it's like salty, like a salty, not in a bad way, in a very good way. A salty like watermelon that makes it more realistic than that artificial Jolly Rancher. Mm -mm. So good. And the lime. I loved this. Um, yep. I had this going in the room that I was working in and I just, I loved it. I loved it so, 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 so much. And I know that I'll be able to get more of it because it's super popular um, for next summer. This is Tea Time Tarts. And then we are done, you guys. I am so sorry. I just, I had lots of pieces of things. <laughs> and now I can get rid of all this and um, work on some other things. So, Tea Time Tarts, I've never bought from this vendor. Don't know if they're in business. Catherine King um, gifted this to me quite a while ago. This was in a, like, it's a flat, it almost kind of reminded me of, like, a Ferris wheel. And it had cut out pieces, like pie, I guess we'll say, but very thin. So, this was in Breakfast and Bear Hugs, adorable name. 
Bear Claws, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This was, I thought this was gonna blow me out of the house. Now, I had warmed some of it when Catherine first gave this to me, probably a year ago, I wanna say, maybe even longer. Um, and I don't, honestly, I don't recall how it did, but I had half of it left. So I finished it up in my kitchen and dining room. It was like a, like light to medium. I would have thought it would have been so strong because of the bear claws and the pumpkin pecan waffles, but it was nice. It was a good background um, scent. So there's that. That is everything, you guys. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Um, I just, you know, I had a lot, I guess, to discuss. So that's everything. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope everybody is having a wonderful Thursday um, and that you are all healthy and safe. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Take care.